Hey guys, welcome back to another Spegic adventure. My name is Tommy and this, this is my 2006 NC Miata. So my Miata recently developed a bearing noise. And as you can hear, um, I'm suspecting it is the throttle bearing making noises because when I press in the clutch, it will make the noise. But when I release the clutch, it will stop making the noise. And the weirdest thing is, it would only make noise uh, wh while it's cold. After driving for a while, when it's warm, the noise goes away. But either way, I have to take everything apart. And um, I might as well replace the throttle bearing, the clutch, and everything while everything is out. This is the exact clutch kit that I bought um, off of Rock Auto. Uh, this is the Xeti Stage 1, uh, but they also have like the OEM equivalent, which is lower than the Stage 1. Um, as you can see, we have the new pressure plate, uh, the new clutch disc itself, and also uh, comes with instruction. Um, it does come with a Koyo brand uh, throw bearing, and um, I double checked with the OEM brand new throw bearing that I ordered directly from Mazda, they're actually the same um, and has a clutch alignment tool and there's a uh, pilot bearing um, that comes with the kit too. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the throw bearing that I ordered directly from Mazda. Um, they are actually identical. Uh, same part number as well. Uh, but for some reason, I think the OEM one has more of this like oil coating on it. Thinking it's there to prevent rust, I'm assuming. The one that came with the clutch kit is... It looks drier for some reason. Before you go underneath the car and remove anything, you first need to go inside the car and remove the shifter assembly. Um, that allows the transmission to drop easier. So the plan is to remove all the things that are in the way. Uh, for example, the uh, original uh, stock chassis bracing underneath the car, the emit pipe for the exhaust, the PPF brace that connects the diff to the transmission. as well as the drive shaft before we can get access and drop the transmission. Um, after we get those things removed, we can then um, uh, remove all the bolts that connects the transmission to the engine and use a transmission uh, jack to help us lower the transmission onto the ground. I just need to lower the trans jack a little bit to be able to have more room to get to the bolts on the top. There are two bolts on the top that's a pretty hard to get to. So you put the wood there? To wedge it, basically, so it's like level. If not, the diff would tilt forward and it would put a lot of wear and tear on the bushing. Yeah, I put a glove here to prevent the transmission fluid from coming out. I want to save as much transmission fluid as possible because I just recently changed it and transmission fluid expensive. This is... Look at this crazy ass extension. What the fuck? Is oh my god! Oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, dude. Dude, that was... That was... I almost killed you. You almost fucking killed me. Uh, uh, well, uh, I think all of them are loose, so I can just loosen up all of them, oh, and that's okay. it. Cool. So you were just, uh, that one Yeah, that just that get. one bolt. Wow. Um, but I do need to disconnect some, uh, wires and shit too, and then I can drop it after. Alright, so now the transmission is ready to be dropped. 
I went ahead and disconnected uh, the full electric connect connector on the top of the transmission. Uh, disconnected the shifter on the top. Is it tilted? It it's is. Tilted. It's tilted. tilted. The entire <laughs> thing is tilted. Oh, tilted. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> How heavy is it? Like 200 pounds? No, no, like 90 pounds or something. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, push it up. There you go. Push it out of the way. Wait, it's not supposed to be making that type of noise nope. or that type of like uh, play. This, I don't think it's supposed to play like this. And also, I don't think there's supposed to be sound like this. It's like the bearing is fucked up, probably inside. Shouldn't be making noises like that. What causes that this type of play, like just wear over time? Yeah, it's wear, wear and tear. And there, there's actually a little bit of play like that. But, this is brand new. Yeah, but there are no like bearing noises. Versus this is like fuck. Like there there's some play on the new one, but not as drastic as the old one. So as you can see, um I had gone ahead and clean up the inside of the bell housing the best I can. Um, I have also replaced the pivot ball with a new one. Um, and also clean up kind of like where the throttle bearing rides on. I use kind of like a sandpaper to get rid of all the burnt grease or like all the dirt off of this sleeve. As well as the uh, imp kind of like the input shaft that where the uh, pilot bearing rides on. The new throttle bearing clutch fork, um, the little pivot ball behind the uh, shift fork, and this spring right here. And also we attach the, uh, the boot right here, the dust boot. Once the transmission is out, we can then go back underneath the car and get access and remove the uh, original uh, pressure plate, the clutch disc, the flywheel as well as the pilot bearing. Um, so far I think the pressure play is not too bad but I think I'm gonna replace it anyway. The pressure play, the clutch as well as the uh, flywheel I need to get that resurfaced. Here is a better look of the flywheel that I just removed as well as the clutch itself. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, mind you, this car has over uh, 110,000 miles and probably over 15 track days under my ownership. And you can still see the amount of uh, clutch material left. I want to show you guys how I removed the pilot bearing. This is a needle style pilot bearing and it was kind of pain in the butt to remove. I tried the bread method, basically stuffing bread and find something that's very close to the ID of the uh, bearing and just pound it and hopefully like it will push the bearing out. Uh, but that didn't work for me. This is the tool that I got from Harbor Freight. It is a slide hammer and bearing puller set. Item number 62601. It has the slide hammer. 
and four different size attachments. Um, the one that I use is this second smallest one. And basically the idea is um, you stick this in and you expand it. You expand this uh, flange part. Basically it's very uh, tight against the inside of the bearing. And you use the uh, slide hammer and attach to the uh, to this black piece right here and basically just uh, yank it out. Ended up coming out really really easy. Like I said I tried the bread method that didn't work. I also picked this up from Hopper Freight. This also didn't work. So before we can even install all the new parts back in we actually have to take the original flywheel to a machine shop to get it resurfaced Anytime you want to throw in a new uh, clutch kit or anything like that, it's a really good idea to uh, get the, uh, the fly resurfaced. Next, I installed the brand new pilot bearing into the hole. I found a socket about the same size as the, uh, the bearing and just pound it in. Um, you gotta make sure that the, the the black seal is facing toward the transmission, um, and also you need to make sure that the um, the depth of the bearing is about four to five mil uh, below the uh, the lip of the the crank before putting in the flywheel bolts. I'm also applying some blue Loctite on the thread to make sure they don't back out. I just reinstalled the resurfaced flywheel. Um, the way I lock the flywheel, kind of preventing from uh, spinning when I torque it up, is to use a bolt up there, a open box wrench, and kind of just wedge it against the uh, locating pin on the flywheel. I uh, torqued all the flywheel bolts in the star pattern to 85 foot pounds. I also marked the bolts. Um, this is to kind of have a visual indicator that in case they uh, loosen up. Next, I uh, put in the clutch with this alignment tool. Once I have the pressure plate on next, I can then remove this alignment tool. This is just there to align everything, so it's, everything is centered. All the pressure plate uh, bolts are uh, tightened and torqued to 25 foot pounds. I can just bolt it in, see if that works. Don't forget to reconnect the connectors on the top of the transmission. Once we have the transmission all bolted up onto the engine, uh, now we can reinstall everything that we took off, such as the dry shaft, the PPF brace, uh, the under chassis braces, as well as the shifter. Um, so I looked at the factory manual they said that the X brace and the uh, PPF brace right here supposedly have like uh, an about 1.06 inch to 1.26 inch of a gap if we have so right here reading at 1.12 which is in spec 
This one is about 1.25 student spec. Let's try again. 1.25, so we're good to go. So, um, I've been driving um, with the new clutch for a few hundred miles now, uh, exactly 280 miles. Uh, what I noticed is there are some clutch uh, jutter or clutch chattering uh, when I uh, get going from first gear or reverse. Uh, it happens when I slip the clutch and the car just shakes, uh, sometimes pretty violently, but I, if, I, if I give it a little more gas, uh, it smooths out a lot. Um, I think it's so far. The fuck? Yeah. So I think that um, it only happens uh, in first gear or reverse, and um, it only happens like if I give it very little gas and I slip the clutch a lot. Uh, so um, I've been just driving it, uh, bedding it in. The recommended bedding in process is. 500 miles city or a thousand miles freeway. I'm suspecting it could be uh, the refers resurfaced flywheel. Um, there may be some issue there, uh, or it could be contamination, uh, like the clutch with the pressure plate or the clutch with the flywheel. There is some sort of like contamination. With the stage one clutch, I noticed that the clutch pedal is about the same as the OEM. It's actually a little bit smoother compared to my old clutch, just because everything is like brand new. Uh, there are no like gunk and stuff in the clutch operation. Uh, also, I think that the clutch grabs a little uh, harder compared to the OEM, which I think is excellent. If you guys have any questions or comments about the clutch install, make sure to drop them down in the comment. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and follow us for more Spagate Adventure. Bye.